looks like fuel smells like fuel not drilled from the ground though it was manufactured by the companies you say here and this tiny little unit on an industrial estate near Stockton on Tees. So like you say, the question today is, if this can be manufactured, could it help in the battle against climate change? Could it be helped to solve the world's fuel crisis? Let me show you very quickly how it's made. We come inside this unit here. The glasses are on, so clearly I'm going to be talking some science. This is methanol in this tank here, which the company has manufactured. It's mixed with something called DME which is an alternative to diesel that is used to fuel things like public transport in places like Sweden, is then distilled, and this is where the fuel comes out of this tank here. Let's speak now to the chief executive of the company here, Peter Harrison. Efficiency. This is what the scientists are asking today. As we heard a minute ago, it sounds too good to be true. So how long does it take to, say, make a litre of this fuel? The uh, unit we have here is a demonstration facility. So uh, we're using existing technology to bring all this together and to demonstrate that we can make all these processes work together. So it, this is not an efficient site. That is something that we will develop in the next project. But I guess when you're evaluating how good it is, that's something you have to look at. So how much does all this cost? Uh, so far, we've had a two-year project and we've invested a million pounds to get where we are today. What's the next step then? Right, well we've got a design now for a one tonne a day unit that will be in three containers and we expect to be in production by 2015 making synthetic petrol. So who are you aiming this at? The petrol that we're making is a, is a very clean designer fuel and it's targeted initially at people in the motorsport sector for use in performance engines. How much does it use? How much energy do you use to create this? Well, petrol is a highly energy concentrated product, and so we're going to be using renewable energy and capturing that to put into our product. And capturing it, that's the key thing, isn't it's, it? It's, it's all energy, about capturing this, yes, this energy. Yes, it's an energy store process, which is carbon neutral and can fight you know, the climate change issues. Okay, Peter, thank you very much for explaining that to Pleasure. us here today. So, we may be a long way off yet before we start putting this in our cars, but clearly what they are saying on Teesside today is this isn't production, it's demonstration. So let's try and use what we have created here to perhaps solve energy problems in the future.